Hi everyone, today I'm going to talk about the Saliwa Alp Trainer Mid GTX. It's a lightweight scrambling boot, which as you can see has a really really big rubber rand around the toes. Comes up just over the top of the big toe as well to protect you there. They're quite high along around the inside edge as well. Just really good protection from rocks if you're using it jamming your foot into cracks in, in the rock for scrambling things like that it's absolutely perfect along the outside edge you've got a really really durable um, almost quite similar to if you're familiar with Kevlar crampon patches it's a really rough textured really thick durable material and that runs in a band along the outside edge all the way to the heel and then at the heel it comes up around the back of the heel all the way around and then same down the inside edge of the shoe so that's just going to protect the boot really well from rocks any ab abrasion scratches all the way around the back protects all the way up the back of the foot just an absolutely solid pair of boots really protective um, which you know the sort of condition they're designed for which is hard rock essentially jagged rock they deal it deals with absolutely brilliantly um, but the reason I bought these was I wanted something that could deal with that hard rock but still be able to sort of walk on normal paths with it um, and partly down to the sole is why I chose this pair as you can see it's it's slightly it's in between sort of a traditional walking boot sole and a sort of really flat, sticky approach shoe, shoe sole. So you've not got as much tread as a traditional sole, um, but you've, it's a really sticky rubber. R grips rock really well, wet or dry. It's, it's absolutely phenomenal. But you've also got a bit of tread there if you're just walking on sort of just a wet, muddy path. Um, as long as it's, as long as it's not too muddy, it should be fine. It, it it doesn't give us great grip on muddy paths as a normal shoe, but that's not that's not what it's designed for. So no complaints there. Loose rock as well. You've got a bit more surface area if you're travelling on scree or just really gravel, dusty rock. You've got a good surface area for it to grip. At the front of the sole. You've got a big flattened off climbing zone, which again lends itself great to, sc to scrambling. Um, same at the back of the heel, so you've got a nice flat platform to put your weight if you're just edging on the heel or toe. Vibram sole, so nice and durable, good quality as you would expect. Moving on to the some of the fit features of the shoe. So you'll notice that it has asymmetric lacing. So it comes down in a straight line on the inside and on the outside it curves in slightly at the toe. So it just follows the natural shape of your foot. Um, a lot of people you know, see when, when they think of trying on boots that uh, it, it mainly comes down to fit and I would agree on that if it doesn't fit then it's not much use but good fit isn't a coincidence um, and little details like this that give you a more precise fit. It's what they call a climbing shoe style lacing, so similar to a climbing shoe. So it goes right down to the toes, and you've just got loads of loads of eyelets all the way up that you can get a really precise, customized fit. On the back of the shoe, third eyelet down, you'll notice these what what Saliwa call, it's a sort of Y-frame, what they call uh, something like a three-fit system. So from the eyelet, you've got a wire that goes down to the base, just in the middle of the sole there, and another wire that goes to the back of the heel, actually joins up with the wire on the other side. Uh, now a lot of people will see these and think that the wires actually move. That's not the case. Um, just the eyelet is firmly attached so the eyelet can't move and the wires don't slide at all but when you pull on that eyelet when you're doing the boots up 
it pulls in all the excess space from the bottom of the boot and from the back so you get a much tighter fit around the heel which is where you really want a good fit if you want a stable shoe for walking obviously uh, they, these ones have a Gore-Tex lining um, they do a shoe version without a Gore-Tex lining and with if you prefer that you've also got a really good gusset to keep debris out great but if you're walking on loose loose stone scree so you'll see from the top of the shoe it's completely flat it doesn't dip down in there at all so you can't get anything coming in through there it's just completely flat to the tongue the tongue is really nicely padded um, as is the area around the heel you've got a really good good solid foam gives a nice comfortable fit laces are pretty good quality I've had no problem so far with them and the upper is a suede durable suede um, again again with scratches and things uh, it deals with it pretty well um, and then on the tongue you've just got a sort of fabric nylon solid material type thing uh, just keeps any grit out slightly more breathable than the mesh but these aren't a very breathable boot due to, uh, sorry the suede rather said mesh um, these aren't a very breathable boot obviously they've got a Gore-Tex lining that reduces breathability they've got loads of rubber all the way around that reduces breathability and suede is not I don't find it that breathable by itself so just something to bear in mind especially in, if you're going to use it in hot conditions at the back of the boot you've got a loop for putting it on or carrying it nice and big not a tiny little one that you can't put your thumb through and a neoprene cuff at the back of the heel so it's that stretchy bit there just holds holds the top of the boot around your ankle again just to stop anything getting in really just a really protective boot um, both at abrasion resistance durability and stopping anything getting inside the boot is really good what they've done I'll move on to the inside the boot and show you the insole which is slightly unique so fairly simple insole um, but a nice design you'll see you've got a yellow part and a black part and you can actually separate this out remove the yellow part and just use the black part so it's, it's essentially a volume adjuster comes with it it's supposed to take out something like quarter of a size roughly um, but maybe if you want to put some slightly thicker socks on you feel they're getting a bit tight just slot this out so you know, it folds up to nothing careful not to lose it um, and they'll be a bit more comfortable just offers a few more options nice touch that they've added that in and obviously you can just use it normally like a normal insole the insole is a fairly just a thin piece of foam thick at the heel perforated for, vent for ventilation um, but yeah fairly simple but yeah or after a long walk if your feet have swelled up a bit in the heat and, and you boots are feeling a bit tight just slot that out and you may find them a bit more comfortable but that is all I have to say about the Saliwa Alp Trainer Mid fantastic boot in my opinion um, you know what I'm gonna say it's a really durable boot great for scrambling also great for walking obviously try and try them on before you buy them just to make sure they fit you but other than that, uh, if you enjoyed the video, do give it a thumbs up. If you've got any questions about these, post them in the comments below. I'll try and answer them. Um, but in the meantime, thanks for watching.